Hello, and welcome back to the final component of our certificate rotation series. At this moment, the apply change has concluded, and our output for certificate authorities only shows one certificate. So we have deleted the CA1, and all that remains is CA2. In this list as well, you would only see one NAT certificate. I did want to also touch base on other components that are important, such as the DNS set, those will require a full apply change of all tiles to populate out correctly. Now on larger platforms, this can take quite a while. So this is why I've set up the certificate rotation procedure into three specific rounds. So you have three rounds or three maintenance windows to perform the rotation. I also wanted to touch base on one other component, which is specifically the service instance deployment recreate. Some tiles, uh, do not have recreate or update service instance components. For these, if you have a Bosch deployment, you will have to run this command manually. So let's hop over to our lab real quick and take a look. As we run the Bosch deployments command, and we get our couple different deployments, I happen to know that these are service instances we can work with. So let's take a look at Of course, there's a new line after that, VMs. And we would have one RabbitMQ database server service instance that I created earlier. If we take a look at the manifest for this service instance, and we pipe it to more so we can do this in a paged fashion, we can actually see why that recreate command works. If you notice, it actually consumes the NATs and other certificates throughout this manifest from other deployments. So if we look back at the documentation, we do see that the apply change is then followed by the recreate. You would do this after rounds one, round two, and round three. This recreate command is pretty simple and it would actually run along the lines of watch dash D recreate. Give you a commanded interactive prompt you hit yes, and it goes through and very similar to the deploy that is used in the apply change, it goes through and updates these VMs accordingly. This concludes my series for certificate rotations. Please do let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.